साधु 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 नमो तस् भगवत अर्थ संबुद्ध नमो तस् भगवत अर्थ संबुद्ध नमो तस् भगवत अर्थ संबुद्ध ओमेश टू द ब्लिस वन दिवन द सुप्रीमली एन लाइट एन वन साधु 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 ओमेश टू आवर टीचर मोस्ट वेनरेबल पिनवत को स्वान वहां से साधु 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 dear dhamma friends now when we consider this long journey of sansara this long journey of sansara we call death and birth right and death and birth and we all are experiencing this uh this course right so we 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 were born and getting older and die and be born into next existence where i wait is right so it is happening and then last previous week we we learned about dependent origination how it is happen right why this uh, when why it is happening this all this aging sickness death lamentation and separation from loved ones and we have to encounter the things we don't like and what is the reason for this one all the buddhas before they became buddha as a bodhisattva right starting from vipassi buddha you know the vipassi buddha uh, was in this world he arose uh, in this world 91 years ago right then he he observed and as a bodhisattva under the under the root of the bodhi tree he he observed the paticca samuppada right from his uh, meditation he found the paticca samuppada which is called dependent origination then after 60 years there was another buddha called sikhi buddha right that time uh pasi buddha's time people live 80000 years Sikhi Buddha's time, people lived seventy thousand years. So even the Sikhi Buddha, before he became Buddha under under the Bodhi tree as a Bodhisattva, and he observed. This is the theory of Paticca Samuppada, or dependent origination. Then same year, there was another Buddha called Vipassi Buddha, and that time people lived sixty thousand years. the same yons that means that uh it is not so 70000 years it reduced to 6000 years uh, next buddha arose so how it happened 70000 years yeah yeah years reduced to 10 years right then after that there is a, you know seven days there is a, you know killing each other then after that uh, people understood they are unwholesome things as a result of that they are doing the practicing the wholesome things they are uh life span increase to in final number of years then again they start the unwholesome things it will reduce to uh, 60000 years that time the vipassi buddha was born ah uh, uh sorry uh, vesabu buddha vesabu buddha and in between this buddha's time with this call the eons between the buddhas this is the definition for eons that uh, we uh, would explain that you know 10 10 meter kilometer long 10 kilometer high 10 kilometer wide and uh, the box filled steel box filled with uh, uh, sesame seeds right uh, mustard seed and remove one seed out of the box every every 100 years 
and when it will be empty, still that yawn is not finished. Right? This is the time time period uh, between Buddhas. So uh, we can see that uh, rice in Buddha is very rare. Then after Vesabhu Buddha, another 30 yawn, there were no Buddhas. Then there was another Buddha at the time of uh, people in this eon. Uh, 40,000 uh, years people lived. Uh, Kakusanda Buddha. Then after that, uh, Konagamana Buddha. Then Kashyapa Buddha. Then Gautam Buddha. All these Buddhas, before they became enlightened and under the Bodhi tree, they tried to investigate what is the cause for aging, death, sorrow, lamentation, despair, and all mass of suffering, right? Then they found the reason. Then they, uh, th after thoroughly investigate, everybody found all the Buddhas as a Bodhisattvas before they became Buddha, they found the dependent origination, right? Paticca Samuppada. All the, Buddha, uh, all the Bodhisattvas, they found the same way. Now, today we are going to learn how they investigate how uh, this, uh, this course. We are starting from Vipassi Sutta. Okay. And there's another Sutta called Vipassi, then Sikhi, Vesabhu, Kakusanda, Konagamana, Kashyapa, and Gautama. All the Buddhas, they all investigated the same way. That is why all, when we consider, all the Buddhas, they are not equal with others. They are equal with Buddhas, right? And let me share with you the document we are going to learn today, Vipassi, Buddha, uh, Vipassi Sutta. This is Vipassi Sutta, right? This is the way actually Vipassi Buddha was thinking as a Bodhisattva. Buddha explained this one at Savati because before his uh, enlightenment, whose enlightenment? Vipassi Buddha. While he was still a Bodhisattva, he was not a Buddha, Bodhisattva. Everybody knows that, you know, that before Buddha became Buddha, we call Bodhisattva, right? And not yet fully enlightened. They are not enlightened. It occurred to Vipassi, the Blessed One, Arahant, perfectly enlightened one. Uh, alas, this world has fallen into trouble in that he is born, ages, and dies. It passes away and is reborn. Yet it does not understand the escape from this suffering headed by aging and death. All the people, regular people, they are even though they are experiencing this one, they don't know how to escape from this one. Right? When now will an escape be discerned from this suffering headed by aging and death this is the way that Bodhisattva perceived Bodhisattva thought. When he was observing, he saw what is the reason for this one. So Vipassi Buddha saw that the reason for aging and death is the birth. Right? Remember that uh, we, we discussed this one. When he was investigating, in, in uh, his investigation, he found the reason for aging and death because of the birth, right? Birth could be in the, the environment of egg, moisture, environment, or womb, or any spontaneous born. These four ways, right? Whatever the way that somebody was, uh, that beings were born, they are experiencing aging and death. Right? So when he was uh, uh, investigating what is the reason for birth, then he found there is a reason for this one, which is called power. Power is arranging of karma. Right? So arranging of karma to be born into changeful worlds. Right? Changeful worlds are all these four bad worlds and human world and uh, heavenly world or the uh, arranging of karma to be born into form worlds or the Brahma worlds, 60, there are 16 Brahma worlds, right? Uh, 
O formless world. There are four types of four, four uh, formless worlds. When he was now, all the bodhisattvas they were thinking this way. Okay. Then what is the reason cause for arranging of karma? Then they found there is something called clinging, right? So clinging that uh, attached to sensual pleasure and wrong views. Behavior and observances, and the notion of me, mine, and myself. That is called that clinging. Oh. What is called clinging in Pali? That arrangement of karma we oh. call bhava. This is called clinging is upadana, kama upadana, and ditta upadana, sila bhuta upadana, and also uh, atta. The things were disconnected, and uh, let me share the screen again. Okay, we were discussing uh, how all the bodhisattvas, starting from Vipassi Bodhisattva, and Sikhi, Vesabu, Kakusanda, Konagamana, Gautama, and even the future Buddhas. Right. So now, future Buddha is that. Uh, who's the future Buddha? Ah, uh, my three Buddha. Even before he became an enlightenment, before he became in, uh, the Buddha, he will be investigating the same way. Right now, start from the clinging. Why it's the, what is the reason for bhava arranging of karma? Then he found the clinging or uh, upadana is the reason. So clinging to uh, karma upadana, clinging to sensual places, and ditta upadana, uh, wrong views, clinging to wrong views. And silabhata uh, uh, upadana, behavior and observances, and attavada uh, upadana, the notion of I am mine myself. This is the clinging. When he was thoroughly, thoroughly observing, what is the reason for clinging? Then he found craving is the tanha, is the reason for clinging. For craving for sensual pleasures, craving for existence, craving for non existence. Kama tanha, bhava tanha, vibhava tanha. It is better than all the more friends that uh, try to remember this one uh, with Pali words as well, because uh, you um, you know it is easy to remember the Pali words, right? So and uh, yeah, sure that when you practice more and more, that is easier. Okay, and what is the reason for craving? Right, uh, what is the reason for craving? Then feeling is the reason for uh, craving that he found that's a feeling as a condition is for the craving so feeling for forms when we see that uh, forms we have feeling we have feeling for sounds we have feeling for smells feeling for tastes and feeling for tangibles feeling for thoughts right this is the reason for craving when he observed that uh, there should be a reason for feelings then when he was observing thoroughly <clears throat> all the bodhisattvas, he found that contact is the reason for feeling. What is the contact? When you consider I, I forms and consciousness of I, it will create eye contact. And uh, ears and sounds and consciousness, it will, create, it will create ear contact, nose and smells and nose uh, consciousness, it will, create, it will create nose contact. Likewise, it will create contact for all the six faculties. Okay? When he was thoroughly observing that, <clears throat> why is the reason for this contact then? Then uh, Bodhisattva found six sense bases, eye, ear, nose, tongue, body and mind. This is the reason for these six sense bases are the reason for contact. When he was th uh, thoroughly observing, then he found what is the reason for the six, six sense basis. Then he, uh, he found mentality and materiality, or name or form, name and form, or mentality or mater materiality. So what is mentality? That is called, in, when you consider in, in this year, we, in this year, we have ability to have feeling and we can ability to perceive uh, the forms and the volitional formation, contact, 
and attention. This is called mentality or name, right? And material, materiality or form is called earth element, water element, heat element, and air element. These four great elements. That is the reason for that. That is the uh, condition for all these six bases. I, if you consider I, is based on or condition on name and form or mentality and materiality. If you consider ear, um, you know, condition on uh, mentality and materiality, nose, tongue, body, and mind is condition on mentality and materiality. Then Bodhisattva was thoroughly investigate, investigating and he found the, what is the reason for mentality and materiality. He found the consciousness is the reason. In consciousness, we know that uh, uh, wherever it uh, existing, wherever it's uh, you know generating, and so we name it uh, uh, according to that one. So same like we we uh, we name the fire according to fire. We, we use the fire for the uh, wood. We call it wood fire. If you use the cow dung, we call it cow dung fire, right? If you use that other the, the wood, uh, other other kind of things. Right, so we the we name the uh, fire with the uh, the material we get. Same like that consciousness. If it is eye, we call it eye consciousness. It is ear, we call it ear consciousness. We nose, we call it nose consciousness. The tongue, we call it uh, tongue consciousness. With the body, we call it body consciousness. And with the mind, it's called mind consciousness. And then, when Bodhisattva was investigating, what is the condition for consciousness? He found volitional formation for consciousness. There are three, three types, volitional formation and bodily formation, which is called breathing in and out because uh, this consciousness uh, will happen. Uh, something is having, some body is having bodily formation, that's in breath and out breath. If somebody is not breathing in and out, that means he's dead. It cannot happen in the consciousness. Okay, and verbal formation, that thought and sustained thought, before we talk, we have to, thought and sustained thought, right? And mental formation, feeling and perception, whatever these formations happen in, it will generate the consciousness. And then he, uh, Bodhisattva, thoroughly uh, investigate, and what is the reason for all these things? The ignorance is the reason. What is the ignorance means? Not knowing the Honorable truths, right? Then he found because of the ignorance, we have vol volitional formation. When volitional formation has condition, we have consciousness. Consciousness has condition, we have mentality and materiality or name and form. Uh, with the mentality and materiality as condition, we have six sense bases, and as a you know uh, six sense bases as condition, we have contact. Uh, on the of all the six faculties, the contact as a condition we have feeling, and with the feeling as a contact uh, condition we have craving, and craving as condition we have clinging, which is called uh, upadana, and upadana as as condition we have arranging of karma, which is called bhava. Bhava as a condition we have birth, and because of the birth we experience aging and death. Okay, so then after that, he was he was thinking, what is the reason for this one? And then after that, he was thinking how to eradicate all those things. Okay, and he, he thought, if there is no birth, if there's no birth, is there any uh, aging and death? No, it's broken, right? And uh, so if there's any cessation of birth, there's cessation of Aging and death, right? Conditions are there. Uh, because I'm explaining this one, it's important to have that idea of this one to go through the other sutta. So I'm I'm planning to uh, discuss uh, Vipassi sutta and also maybe some people are familiar with this concept, but however, it is important. And also the conditions, the sutta is conditions, Pache sutta. Okay, it is very important to learn that. Okay, now... There's a cessation of birth, there's a cessation of aging and death, right? If there's no arranging of karma, is there any birth? There's no birth. If there's a cessation of arranging of karma, 
the cessation of birth, right? If there is no clinging, is there any arranging of karma? There is no arranging of karma. The cessation of clinging, there is no uh, the cessation of arranging of karma. And if there is any craving, no craving, no clinging. The cessation of craving and cessation of clinging. And cessation of, cessation of feeling, uh, so there is no feeling, no craving. Cessation of free feeling, Cessation of cessation of craving and uh, no feeling. There's no feeling. That means no contact. If there's no contact, no feeling. The cessation of contact, cessation of feeling, and say uh, you know there's no six sense basis. Is there any contact? There's no contact. The cessation of six sense basis, cessation of contact. If there's no uh, Mentality and materiality. Is there any six sense basis? No. The cessation of those uh, mentality and materiality, cessation of six sense basis. And cessation of consciousness, there's no cessation of mental and materiality. And uh, no volitional formation. Is there any consciousness? No. The cessation of volitional formation, cessation of consciousness. And Cessation of ignorance, then cessation of volitional formations. Okay, then after that, uh, he found the cessation of ignorance, cessation of volitional formation, cessation of volitional formation, cessation of consciousness, cessation of cons consciousness, cessation of name and form or mentality and materiality, cessation of Mental and materiality, cessation of six sense bases, cessation of six sense, uh, six sense bases, cessation of contact, cessation of contact, cessation of feeling, and cessation of feeling, cessation of craving, and cessation of clinging, cessation of arranging of karma, and cessation of arranging of karma, cessation of birth, and cessation of birth, and Cessation of aging, death, lamentation, pain, despair, and all mass of suffering, end of all mass masses of suffering. This is the way he found. I explained here that uh, you know what is aging and death, jara, marana, soka, paridev, dukkha, domana, supaya, sign, pali. So jara means you're getting older, marana is uh, death, soka means sorrow. And Parideva is, you know, that uh, you are lamentation and Dukkha is again sorrow and Domanasa and you are weeping and, you know, uh, uh, beating on your breast, right? So, and to, uh, to your chest, right? And, uh, yeah, despair. Um, and birth, uh, there are four types of birth, right? There's a possibility beings will be born into egg, uh, egg born, right? You can see who is egg born. You can see that chicken and other types of sometimes some some uh, some animal, right? Egg born and uh, sometimes some uh, uh, some snakes egg born and moisture born. You have seen that some worms in the moisture environment, moisture born and womb born. And human is uh, womb born and some animals are, are in womb born and spontaneous born. All the hell hell beings. And uh, the, all the ghosts, right? And all the devas and all the brahmas, they are, they are spontaneous born. And very, very minim, uh, minor percentage, 0 0.01 percentage, human also, be, uh, there's a possibility will be born spontaneously. Okay, arranging of karma is the bhava to be born into sensual world or form world and formless world, right? And clinging is that. Uh, Padana, uh, clinging to sensual pleasures. What is sensual pleasures? Clinging to sensual pleasures. When we see forms, our eyes, that uh, we have cling to that. And we hear the sounds and smell and, uh, uh, from our nose. We, we cling to that taste and tangibles for thoughts. We have clinging to those things, sensual pleasures. And wrong views, right? People have wrong views and they, they think to achieve... Uh, Greatness, they, they think uh, uh, 
Okay, so the wrong views that are 20 types of wrong views here. Okay, wrong views that behavior and observances is that they are practicing uh, different ways. Some people, they remove their clothes like naked aesthetics. They, uh, they think this is the way to achieve the greatness. And the other one is notion of me, mind, man, myself. Okay, click it. Um, then craving, craving for sensual pleasures, exist, uh, craving for exist, existence, and craving for non-existence. And feeling, we have feeling for form, sound, smell, taste, and tangibles. And the contact, con because why it is, we are getting feelings? We get, yeah, with the, because in eye, we have eye contact of eye, right? Uh, uh, eye contact, uh, contact with forms, right? So we get the eye contact, contact the sounds, ear contact, contact with the smells, we get the nose contact, contact with the taste, we have tongue contact, contact with the tongue tangibles, we have body contact, contact with the thoughts, we have mind contact, okay? And uh, six sense basis, eye faculty, ear faculty, nose faculty, tongue faculty, body faculty, and mind faculty. And what is the mentality and materiality? All these things, right? Feeling, perception, volitional formation, contact and attention. Materiality or form, earth element, water element, heat element and air element. Uh, and consciousness, con consciousness will generate in eye, ear, nose, tongue, body and mind. Okay, volitional formations, again, we discussed this one. Sankara, we call and uh, in Pali, it's bodily formation, verbal formation, and mental formation. What is the bodily formation? In breath and out breath. And verbal formation, thought and sustained thoughts. Mental formation, feeling and perception. Then ignorance, avijja, that is not knowing the four noble truths. Okay. Then now, uh, Keeping that, that one in our mind. Uh, so let us uh, go to the sutta. Okay. Now you can see that this is summarized here. And uh, the Vipassi Bodhisattva, when he was thinking that uh, it does not understand the escape from the suffering headed by aging and death, when now will escape be dis uh, discerned from his suffering? from the suffering headed by aging and death. And we'll go to right away for the one we discussed, the cessation. The cessation, thus because in regard to things unheard before, there arose in the Buddha, Bodhisattva, Vipassi, vision, knowledge, wisdom, true knowledge and light, because he understood all these, how arranged, the, how the, all the uh, things are happening, arranging of karma and all these uh, dependent origination. Then he saw that how to uh, how is the cessation of all these uh, 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 suffering, right? He observed, and then after that he put the vision and knowledge. Okay, the same way, Sikhi Buddha observed, right? And same way, if I go with Vesabu Buddha, right? Of Sikhi Buddha and Vesavu Buddha after Vipassi Buddha, 30 eons after all two Buddhas in the same eon. Then after that 30, Buddha, 30 eons, there were no Buddhas, right? They didn't, couldn't hear any, any, any Dhamma at all. Then same, uh, then after that this eon, the first Buddha was Kakusanda Buddha, right? Then Kakusanda, then Ponagamana Buddha, right? That time people lived 30,000 year, uh, years, right? Then after that, Kasapa Buddha, and then after that, Gautama, uh, Gautama, our Sakyan uh, Buddha. Okay. Then, and after that, how he also the Bodhisattva, Gautam Bodhisattva thought, right? Because before my enlightenment, while I was still Bodhisattva, not yet fully enlightened, it occurred to me. Alas, this world has fallen into trouble in that it is born, ages, and dies. It passes away and is reborn. Yet it does not understand the escape from this suffering 
headed by aging and death. When now will an escape be discerned from this suffering headed by aging and death? Then because it occurred to me when what exists does aging and death come to be? This is the way, right? When what like, uh, exists? By what is aging and death uh, condition? Then you know what is aging and death condition? Uh, at birth. Then because through careful attention there took place in me a breakthrough by wisdom. Is all the bodhisattvas, uh, they break through to this one. And these things are happening even the bodhisattva was present or not. Right? The world is happening all these things. The bodhisattva break through to this one. What is happening in, uh, in all the beings' life? What uh, their lives? What is happening? So the uh, uh, so bodhisattva took place uh, in me. A breakthrough by wisdom. Okay. When there is a birth, aging and death come, comes to be. Aging and death has birth as its condition. So always aging and, aging and death, there's a condition. What's the condition? Birth. Then because it occurred to me, when what exists, does birth come, come to be? By what is birth condition? Then because through careful attention that took place in me, Breakthrough by wisdom, when there is existence, uh, birth comes to be. Existence is arranging of karma, which is called bhava. Birth comes to be. Birth has existence as its condition. Okay. And then because it occurred to me, when what exists, does existence come to be? By what is existence condition? What is the existence condition? What? Huh? Clinging, yes. Then because through careful attention that took place in me, breakthrough occurred to me, when what exists does clean come to be? By what is clean condition? What is clean condition? Uh, con conditions? Because craving. Then because through careful attention that took place in me a breakthrough by wisdom. When there is craving, clinging comes to be. Clinging has the craving as its condition, right? Then because it occurred to me, when what exists, does craving come to be? By what is craving condition? Then craving condition on feeling. Then because through careful attention, that took place in me a breakthrough by wisdom. When there is feeling, craving comes to be. Craving has feeling as its condition. Okay. Then because it occurred to me, when what exists, does feeling come to be uh, by what is feeling condition? Then because through careful attention that uh, there took place in me, breakthrough by wisdom, when there is contact, contact is, uh, is contact, feeling comes to be. Feeling has the contact as its condition, right? So feeling has condition is contact. Then because it occurred to me, when what exists does a contact come to be? By what is contact condition? Then because through careful attention, there took place in me the breakthrough by wisdom. When there are six sense bases, contact come to be. Contact has six sense bases as condition. Okay. What is the next one? Why? Uh, that six sense basis, uh, nama rupa or name and form or mentality or materiality. Okay, and uh, what's the reason for name, uh, name and uh, form or men uh, nama rupa, mentality and materiality? It's a consciousness. Okay, what's the reason for consciousness? Uh, volitional formations. What's the reason for formations? Ignorance, not knowing the four noble truths, right? Uh, thus, with the ignorance as condition, volitional form is, uh, formation comes to be. With volitional formation as condition, consciousness, such as is the origin of the whole mass of suffering, right? This is how they are understanding all these uh, bodhisattvas. Uh, so, origination, origination, thus, because in regard to things, 
unheard before. They are rose in me, vision, knowledge, wisdom, true knowledge and light, right? That's the, then after that, cessation. Then uh, how would the cessation? Then we cause it occur to me when what does not exist, does aging and death not come to be? With the cessation of what? Does the cessation of aging and death uh, come to be? Then we cause through careful attention, there took place in me, breakthrough by wisdom, right? When there is no birth, no birth, aging and death, does not come to be, right? With the cessation of birth uh, comes cessation of, right? Each and everyone, there's two things, right? So it is, there's no birth, there's no aging and death. The cessation of uh, birth, the cessation of aging and death. So likewise, all the bodhisattvas, they observed until to the end, right? So thus with the remainder as fading away and cessation of ignorance comes cessation of volitional formation. With the cessation of volitional formation, cessation of consciousness, such is the cessation of this whole mass of suffering. Uh, suffering. Uh, cessation, cessation, thus because in regard to this, the to things unheard before, they arose in me, mission, knowledge, wisdom, true knowledge and light, right? So this is how all the bodhisattvas, Patichasampada, Arinjan of Patichasampada, or uh, dependent, uh, arrangement of dependent origination, cessation of the uh, dependent origination, uh, they understood, right? Then after that, uh, they became enlightened, they became Buddha. So, and there's another another uh, sutta, so it's a very important sutta, we should uh, study this sutta as well, which, uh, because uh, now we are in the, uh, it's called condition, so this sutta on the same Sangta Nikaya, right? Sangta Nikaya is, uh, and uh, here at Savati, because I will teach you dependent origination and dependent the arisen phenomena. Listen and attain closely, I will speak. Okay. Then all the... I think it is the number of... This is 20. Uh, uh, it is in Sangta Nikaya, Sangta Nikaya conditions, okay? The so same, 1220, right? Yeah. So, when do we understand birth stands? What is the condition for them? Oh, uh, well, because to me it sounds like this is nihilism. We just don't believe in existence. Yes. And what is the uh, condition for birth? Arranging of karma. Uh -huh. Right. Karma yeah, had to have a beginning. No, this is uh, then uh, there's reason for karma. Yes. Right. Everything is uh, condition. Right. Yes. Uh, everything is condition. There's a reason for karma. A karma doesn't arise that by itself. There's a reason for karma as well. Yeah, that uh, karma is coming through actions. Yeah, there's action. There's action. Which kind of action? Which kind of action? Karma is arranging of karma. That is all. Which kind of action? Uh, arranging of karma, which is clinging, right? What is the, then again, there's a reason for clinging. Why is it clinging? It's craving, right? That's how that, why is the reason for clear, craving? Feeling. But because of the succession, yeah. there has to be something at the beginning. And that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So beginning is not knowing the Four Noble Truths. Right, not noble, knowing ignorance. the Four Noble Truths and this ignorance. Yeah. That because of the ignorance, we create it. Uh, as a ignorance as a condition, volitional formation. And with the volitional formation as condition, the consciousness, right? Well, consciousness as condition, name and form, Nama Rupa. Nama Rupa as a condition, we have six faculties. And six faculties as a condition, this is that starting from the beginning, actually. So what is happening? 
all these things. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. Beginning. Yeah. Know. Beginning point is Sorry. ignorance. Why that would explain uh, why we came from long journey on Sansara? We are hindered by ignorance, fettered by craving, right? Mm -hmm. And because uh, ignorance is like a Somebody's when there's no light and there's no suns and no moons and the, all the skies, all the, uh, the uh, top or eastern side, western side, northern side, southern side, everywhere is dark. That's, it is called that this darkness can be cut into pieces, right? The Buddha explained this kind of things in the ignorance, not knowing anything, right? So that's this is the way that beings are going roaming from one existence to another existence, right? Uh, this is they are, they are hindered by ignor ignorance and they are fettered by pain. That's the reason. That's the reason that they are arranging of karma. Right? Yeah, that's the whole idea of this uh, dependent origination, right? So always in our lives, this is happening. Where is happening? Is happening in eye, ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind, right? Always it's happening, these things. Okay, right? Okay, let's go to uh, condition things. We have to observe this each and every one. Uh, when we consider dependent origination, there are how many uh, how many condition things? How many condition things? Starting from uh, uh, aging and death uh, to ignorance, 12 things, right? Okay, now Buddha, he is saying here, at Savati, because I will teach you dependent origination and dependently arisen phenomena. Dependently arisen, okay? Listen and attend closely, I will speak. Yes, Venerable Sir, those because replied and blessed one said, and what because is dependent origination? With the birth as condition, right? Aging and death comes to be. Whether there is an arising of Tathagatas or no arising of Tathagatas, okay? there's no Buddha, right? Of the arising of Tathagata, that element still persists. Which one is persisting? Uh, right? Aging and death uh, is, there's a condition for uh, aging and death because of the birth, okay? The stableness of Dhamma, the fixed course of Dhamma, the specific conditionality, the Tathagata awakens, uh, awakens uh, to this and breaks through it, right? So then all the Tathagatas, they, they understood after breaking through what is happening uh, here. Having done so, he explain, explains it, teaches it, and proclaim, proclaims it, establishes it, discloses it, analyzes it, analyzes it, and elucidates it. And he says, see, with the birth as condition, because aging and death is happening, right? And it is important that in the, there's a Pali word for this one. I will, I will share with you that, uh, that document here, uh, which is called Dhamma Ti Tata the stableness of the Dhamma, right? If Buddha is uh, existing or not existing, that is the way, Dhamma Titata. This is the way of condition uh, things, right? What is the meaning of that? This is the way of condition things because why is the, you know, aging and death is happening? Because of birth, right? The Dhamma Niyamata, Niyamata means that uh, the rule, the fixed course of the Dhamma, this is the way Condition phenomena work, right? Mm -hmm. And Dhamma Niyamata is that is the phenomena, that's the rule. Okay. And what is some what is the Niyamata? Why it is happening? Because why is aging and death is happening? Because of birth, right? And either Pachayata, specific conditionality. What's the meaning of this? Is, this uh, reason caused this result, right? Mm. As a birth caused the result of aging and death, right? 
That's the reason. Okay, that uh, this is the phenomena for all these Patisampad. Okay, but the Dhamma Titata, Dhamma Niyamata, and Ida Pachayata, right? Spe specific conditionality. All right, so it is important that uh, um, if you can um, remember this, this one, because when you practice, practice with the Pali word as well. Okay? If I go to uh, the Sutta again, and what bhikkhu is dependent origination, with birth as condition, aging, and death comes to be, whether there is an arising of Tathagata or no arising of Tathagata, that element still persists. The stableness uh, of Dhamma, the fixed cause of Dhamma, the specific conditionality, right? But Tathagata awakens to this and breaks through it, uh, to it. Having done so, he explain, uh, explain, explains it, teaches it, proclaims it, establishes it, and discloses it, analyzes it, and elucidates it, and he says, See with the birth as condition because aging and death, with the existence uh, existence as condition. But what is the exi uh, condition uh, existence? Bower or arranging of karma. Then after that, with the clinging as condition existence, and with the craving as condition uh, clinging is coming to be, with feeling as condition the craving. And with the contact as condition, feeling, right? With the sixth sense basis as condition, contact, with the name and form as a condition, the sixth sense basis, with the consciousness as condition, name and form, with the volitional formation as condition, consciousness, with the ignorance as condition, volitional formations. Whether there is an arising of Tathagatas, okay, or no arising of Tathagatas, that element still persists, right? These elements are still persisting, and whether the, the Supreme Buddha is uh, arising, uh, arising or not, the stableness of Dhamma, the fixed cause of Dhamma, the specific conditionality, a Tathagata awakens uh, to this and breaks through it. Having done so, he explains it, teaches it, proclaims it, and all these things because he. Uh, see with the ignorance as condition because volitional formation does uh, because he actually in this he inherency the not otherwise other wiseness mm -hmm. specific conditionality this is called dependent origination right there's another important things here right let me go to the uh, slides so, so again and it is important that uh, understand that one as well. So all these uh, aging and the death, we have 12, 12 things, right? In in uh, dependent origination, 12 things. Yes, the first one is aging and death, right? It is anicca. What is anicca means? Impermanent. Okay. And impermanent, it comes with the condition is sankatan. What is the meaning of sang what is the meaning of sankatan? You can see rising, you can see cessation, you can see in between, you can see the change changing of this one. Okay, now aging and death, you can see the change, right? So you can aging you can see and sankatan. Paticha samupanna. What is the meaning of parichampanna? It arose from uh, uh, dependently arisen, not uh, uh, independent. It is dependently arisen, right? So how is it age, aging and death uh, comes to be? With the birth, because it's dependently arisen. Okay, it is conditioned and dependently arisen and is kaya dhamma. What is the kaya dhamma? Is subject to destruction of deterioration. Right? And Kaya Dhamma. And Vaya Dhamma. Vanishing. Okay? Vaya means that uh, 
Vaidhamma means there's a phenomena that's all totally predicate. Vaidhamma. And Viragadhamma, you remove the attachment to that one, that mm-hmm. fading away. And Nirodhadhamma, cessation of uh, all those things. Mm-hmm. Okay? Now, when you consider aging and death, right, all these nine things are there. What is that? Is Anicca, Anicca, Sankatra, Paticca Sampanna, Kaya Dhamma, Vaya Dhamma, Viraga Dhamma, Nirod Dhamma. All the seven things, all these, each and everything. And when you come to the birth, birth has Anicca, right? Sankatha. Why? It is dependently, it is condition, right? Sankatha. And Paticca Sampanna, it is, is a, it is in the Paticca Sampada, right? It is in the uh, arranging of Kam, uh, sorry, dependently arisen, right? Uh, Paticca Sampanna, Kayadamma, Vayadamma, Viragadamma, Niroddamma, right? So, Kayadamma is uh, subject to deteriorating or destruction, and Vayadamma vanishing, and Viragadamma, uh, you detach from that. Right, and Rodhadama, you cease with that attachment, mm. birth. Right, so, and all these seven things are there. And if you consider, and what is, what is the reason for birth? Bhava, arranging of karma or existence, right? And even existence, right? Those will, will be happening, even Buddha is present or not, right? When the Buddha's they when, when penetrate uh, they penetrated to this one they understood this one then this one anicca sankata paticca samuppanna kaya dhamma vaya dhamma viraga dhamma nirodha dhamma right when you consider why it's happening arranging of karma what is the condition for arranging of karma clinging clinging also anicca Sankata, Patich Sampanna, and Khayadamma, Vayadamma, Khayadamma, Vayadamma, Viragadamma, Nirodhadamma. Because I'm I'm practicing the Pali, because it's very easy to remember that you, if you uh, if you know the meaning, right? You know the meaning, right? So when you practice few times, so you know that all these seven things. This is a very good meditation. Very good meditation. This is the way that you you can penetrate through this one. Go go for realization, right? Mm-hmm. This is the way that uh, all the uh, bodhisattvas they went went through realization. Mm-hmm. You know that how to uh, break that all the twenty uh, identity view. So Pramuda explained that okay, anicchang sankatham paticca samupada, right? That's the way that uh, he ad- advised to see all these each and every things, right? Now here. All these particular sound path, the dependent or origination, and Buddha, Buddha is advising. So look at this one in this same way, right? Because this is the reality. I mean that uh, uh, anicca means it is impermanent, right? Mm-hmm. Is uh, birth is permanent or impermanent? It's mm-hmm. impermanent. It is condition, right? Birth, if you can can, can, can uh, see, birth is happening because of arranging of karma, and this is dependently arisen. Right, because birth is coming because of uh, birth is happening because of arranging of karma, and this kaya dhamma, it is kaya dhamma is uh, subject to uh, destruction, okay, and uh, vanishing, and you d- detach from the birth and nirod dhamma. You can you can also uh, seize that birth, okay. And this is the one way of developing the insight meditation, mm-hmm. right? Patish Sampada, somebody asked that, that day how to practice that Patish Sampada meditation. This is the way you can break through. Okay, if you consider, uh, for example, uh, if I consider, uh, ask you that, uh, how's the contact? Contact also, Anichai, Anichai, Sankata, Patish Sampada, Kaya Dhamma, Vaya Dhamma, Viraga Dhamma, Niroda Dhamma, right? 
then uh, all the six uh, faculties no six faculties anicca sankata padisampanna kaya dhamma vaya dhamma viraga dhamma nirodha right and what are the uh, name and form or oh, men mentality and materiality those also anicca sankata padicca sampanna kaya dhamma vaya dhamma viraga dhamma nirodha right and when you consider then uh, consciousness consciousness also anicca uh, anicca impermanent anicca uh, sankata padisampanna kaya dhamma vaya dhamma viraga dhamma niroddha okay and then when you come to volitional formation anicca sankata padisampanna kaya dhamma vaya dhamma viraga dhamma niroddha when you come to uh, ignorance right anicca pat sankata paticca sampanna kaya dhamma vaya dhamma viraga dhamma niroddha dhamma keep in that one in the in in your mind let's go to the sutta okay <laughs> with ignorance as condition volitional formations whether there is an arising of tathagatas or no arising of tathagatas that element still persists the stableness of the dhamma the fixed course of the dhamma specific conditionality a tathagata awakens to this and breaks through to it having done so he explains it teaches it proclaims it establishes it discloses it analyzes it elucidates it and he says see with ignorance as condition because volitional formations thus because the actuality in this the inherent errancy the no that wiseness specific conditionality this is called dependent origination yeah would they say confirm in this one this is the way it is happening there's no any other way this is the right way it's happening right and what because are the dependently arising phenomena aging and death because is impermanent conditioned dependently arising subject to destruction vanishing fading away and cessation birth is impermanent what is that what is that uh, uh... අනිච්ච සංකත පටිච්ච සම්පන්න කය ධම්ම වය ධම්ම විරාග ධම්ම නිරෝධ ධම්ම ඔකේ ඔල් රයිට් ගෝ හෙඩ් බර්ත් ඉස් ඉම්පර්මනන්ට් එක්සිස්ටන්ස් ඉස් ඉම්පර්මනන්ට් ක්ලින්ගින් ඉස් ඉම්පර්මනන්ට් ක්‍රේවින් ඉස් ඉම්පර්මනන්ට් ෆීලින් ඉස් ඉම්පර්මනන්ට් කොන්ටැක්ට් ඉස් ඉම්පර්මනන්ට් ද සික්ස් සෙන්ස් බේසස් ආර් ඉම්පර්මනන්ට් නේම් ඇන්ඩ් ෆෝම් ඉස් ඉම්පර්මනන්ට් consciousness is impermanent volitional formations are impermanent ignorance is impermanent conditioned dependently arising subject to destruction vanishing fading away and cessation yeah okay these bhikkhus are called the dependently arising phenomena when bhikkhu a noble disciple has clearly seen with correct wisdom as it really is this dependent origination and these dependently arisen phenomena it is impossible that he will run back into the past thinking did i exist in the past did i not exist in the past what was i in the past how was i in the past having been what what did i become in the past or that he will run for in the future thinking will i exist in the future will i not exist in the future what will i be in the future how will i be in the future having been what what will i become in the future or that he will now be inwardly confused about the present this do i exist do i not exist what am i how am i this being where has it come from and where will it go yes 16 type they go destroy that 16 types of uh, thinking about the past uh, future and present so the past there are the five ways of thinking right what the what are the five ways of thinking did i exist uh, exist in the past right 
did i not exist in the past what was i in the past how was i in the past having been what what did i become in the past or that he will run forward into future and future way also the five things right mm -hmm. and thinking will i exist in the future will i not exist in the future what will i be in the future how will i be in the future and having been what what will i become in the future or that he will be and in this way presently uh, or oh, uh, or that he will now be inwardly confused about the present thus in present way he is confused with the six ways do i exist right uh, do i not exist i i met these kind of people right so who am i right what am i who am i uh, this beings where has it come from and where will it go people have this kind of 16 types right that sometimes people have eternalism right so sometimes they have and he listen but the eternalism that uh, they will live forever or oh, other one is and he lays an assim uh, we are not living right so uh, after right these kind of problem will resolve somebody will understand also and when you understand the dependent origination really so uh, you will understand that uh, all some things and unwholesome things right kusal and nakusal okay so what will happen that when you do the uh, unwholesome things what will happen to you when you do the wholesome things right so you you remove your doubts about this one when you understand all those things all these 12 aspects of dependent origination right starting from ignorance to aging and death right and for what reason is this uh, impossible because because the noble disciples has clearly seen with correct wisdom as it really is this dependent origination and this dependently arisen phenomena okay so because they will see this is the end of the sutta right and and each and every one all these 12 aspects how we are, you have to see for starting from aging and death this, this, this is uh the seven aspects how we have to see anicca anicca sankata patisampanna khaya dhamma vaya dhamma viraga dhamma nirodha dhamma right so all these seven aspects if you cannot remember so remember it in english right anicca all these things uh aging and death is impermanent is conditioned dependently arisen subject to destruction or deterioration uh vanishing fading away cessation because i put that deterioration uh this khaya uh, dhamma in pali uh, word uh, doesn't really ex uh, ex uh, explain subject to destruction right khaya uh, dhamma means uh, the real word is deterioration right so slowly deteriorate by right? khaya dhamma and vaya dhamma is vanishing right and viragadam right so viragadam you uh, remove the attachment right that's how it it it, it de develop for anything so the you have viraga so you de detachment from this one then after that you go for cessation right and this is the way okay that uh, is easy to remember for some people in pali when you practice you will find that is the easiest way <laughs> right and anicca sankata pati sampanna khaya dhamma vaya dhamma viraga dhamma and niruddha okay and understand that what is the meaning of the, all those things and practice anicca right and so anicca sankata pati cha and each and every things right this is the condition for example uh so uh consciousness right consciousness permanent or impermanent is impermanent right it is condition right and dependently addition because consciousness is what is the condition for consciousness is uh original formation right and is subject to deterioration and vanishing fading fading away cessation all these each and everything 
okay so this is the way we we have to practice our insight meditation for paticca samuppada right this is uh, paticca sutta i i did with the vipassana sutta okay so by understanding all those things may all of us be fortunate to understand four noble truths in this gautam buddha dispensation sound 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 the fourth one is the ruling out of the same thing like destruction when seeing pain in a way cessation is it the fourth one destruction and when seeing pain in a way cessation yeah are they the same thing same thing for all the 12 aspects oh right so it's starting from aging and death to ignorance right all the all the things this is the way buddha is explaining this uh, there these are seven things right one thing do we when we contemplate in the vipassana do we start can we start from ignorance or do we start from has to start from aging and then yeah. and uh, so that that's another question good question actually um the question was that should we start from uh, ignorance or should we start from age and death you can start from either side but the way bodhisattvas analyze is starting from age and death that is the place we can understand mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so therefore uh, uh, it's a good point to start mm -hmm. so the things we understand mm -hmm. right so go for other way and come for other way and some some sutras explain about starting from ignorance mm -hmm. right then when you chant uh, the sut uh, uh, chanting avijja pachya sankara we chant mm -hmm. that that way right but when you analyze this is the best way to analyze the age in and death right that's a real existing problem for us mm -hmm. right reverse. yeah go to reverse that's called uh, descending order then after that you come come to ascending order order mm -hmm. right so that's the way one more question one they mention about that uh, 20 sakaya diti the 20 identity view yes and we can use this method so when we contemplate that do we contemplate that as five aggregates of clinging that form is impermanent sankata or how uh, do we contemplate if that? if you uh, if you go to parleka sutta parleka parleka sutta mm -hmm. buddha explains uh, 23 uh, identity view mm -hmm. right uh, in, including uh, the uh what is that called uh, doubt of the dhamma as well mm. right so he explained about that uh, uh all the 20 views and after that he explained about that uh, uh there's uh, you know life after death the eternal life after mm. death and there's no life after death mm. and those views as well so it is that actually there's those two views inside that 20 identity view which Two views inside the identity. Uh, the identity view that after after that you yeah. have that uh, eternal Sasata life. Sasata and uh, Ucheda. Yeah, I mean that you have it and yeah, right. Sasata Diti. Uh, right. Ucheda Vat Diti and uh, Saswata Diti. So it is in, inside that 20 identity view. Oh. Right? Right. But how do we contemplate that in the Vipassana? Oh. Uh, so Buddha explains and think about that uh, this is the way uh, for example let's take one right uh, the form right form form as self form as self uh, why this form as self this is uh, this is called uh, formation right why this formation is happening right because of as a condition for uh, formation because of the uh, tanha Tanha means that uh, because of uh, craving, mm. uh, because of uh, craving, this uh, uh, craving there's a condition. What's the condition for craving? Is mm. feeling. What's the feeling for uh, condition? condition? Contact. Contact is, is the uh, reason. What is the condition for contact? Six, Six sense bases, right? And what is the reason for six sense basis? And here, the special case, Buddha is explaining 
uh, without going to all these bases, uh, why it is all this contact is happening because of the ignorance. And you know that uh, we go for six sense bases, mm -hmm. and then after name and form, and now after that uh, mm -hmm. consciousness, volition formation, ignorance. But uh, the explaining why this because we know that uh, our contact from eyes we we have contact mm -hmm. with with we we. We uh, we have contact with ignorance because avijja pachya sankara. So because of the ignorance, we have a, a sanskara or volitional formation. Because of the volitional formation, we have volitional formation. Uh, we have consciousness. In the consciousness, we have ignorance as well, right? And uh, then we go to consciousness uh, because uh, the consciousness we have name and form. For name and form. It has ignorance. The name and form, we have six faculties. The six faculties, we have ignorance. And the contact, the contact, we have ignorance. But without saying anything, Buddha is saying, why it is all these things are happening? With, with, all, with, with the ignorance, we have contact. Uh, with that contact, we have feeling. With the feeling, we have uh, uh, craving. With the craving, we have, uh, we have that... Uh, this, uh, uh, what is that called? This uh, formation, mm -hmm. whatever the form has self, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then when you are an uh, analyzing that, this uh, form has self also anicca, anicca, sankatam, patisamupanna, and also tanha, that craving also anicca, sankatam, patisamupanna, mm -hmm. and also tanha, because of tanha we mm -hmm. get, because of the feeling we get, uh, tanha. That it happened that all the feeling also anichan sankatam pati sampanna. Then coming back to the contact okay. also anichan sankatam pati sampanna and also ignorance. Okay. Also, also anichan sankatam pati sampanna. Mm -hmm. Impermanent condition and dependent arisa. Mm -hmm. Right? This is the way Buddha is explaining. Mm -hmm. And Buddha is explaining somebody can uh, see this way. Mm -hmm. They will destroy all the. Uh, 20 Sakai Ditti in this life, mm -hmm. and they won't be born into any place. Right? Parleka Sutta, the special Sutta. Parleka Sutta is special Sutta. Mm -hmm. We have to practice this one. Mm -hmm. I don't do that because when I try to practice that as a meditation, everybody's sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do we cut the link of claiming first or claiming in order to reach Nibbana? Do we cut the clinging or cut the craving? No, you have to uh, cut at the time of that. Uh, you have to understand the, uh, there's no shortcut to cut, right? <laughs> 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 Starting from, you have to develop that uh, understanding of four noble truths. That's called uh, develop vidya, right? So vidya means that uh, removing ignorance, right? And uh, so, and remove the cravings. Right. But right. some father, if you uh, want to understand, right. uh, you have to understand uh, from ignorance or craving or energy of karma. When you practice, and you will understand. <laughs> you have to really guard your sense, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You have to have the knowledge, what is actually happening. Yeah. That means that, uh, yeah, I mean, that you, you come to the realization that all these conditioned things that, uh, you know, so, yeah, you'll, you'll understand it. But Dante, if we don't practice sense restraint in our daily life, then and uh, at the last moment, <laughs> maybe it's hard for us to all of a sudden practice yes. that. And you have to, uh, you continuously, we have to practice, right? How many years you practice to walk? How many years you practice to write? How many years do you practice to read? And do you think that uh, this thing that the old drone journey of Sansar we practice for last hatred and delusion can destroy within a few seconds? No, we have to practice. Think about that. Uh, you know, our Bodhisattva, uh, after completing all his perfections, uh, how many years he uh, did the self-mortification six years, six years, right? 
and even though all the monks they had a the lot of good karma in their behind even they had to put a lot of uh, striving right you know to understand so compare that one right so with that uh, that the striving now we are putting and previously monks are putting right and there's a uh, there's a good thing that uh, when you think that you will develop and it will come uh, in order to develop that you are striving it is good that uh, you think uh, developing the uh, uh, marma nusati marma nusati the recollection of death recollection of death you know in the recollection of death how you have to think eventually all the ways you you die you have to think you breathe in before you breathe out you will die when you breathe out before you breathe in you will die one day we we will all experience we breathe out we cannot breathe in right or we breathe in we cannot breathe out it will come each and every one we don't know how how maybe on the road maybe on the bed maybe you are when you are doing something when you are in the bus right so that time will come to us individually okay so before that get ready <laughs> yeah so and don't get uh, you know uh, develop your depression or anxiety but uh, develop that one you develop your striving right okay so this is the way or this is the danger of that uh, we are in okay and therefore i have to do uh, practice this one right practice this one buddha said same like somebody got the fire on his hair and he's trying to uh, extinguish that right so you are not uh oh this i enjoy i see the tv programs and then i extinguish my fire so you right away you try to same like we put here but to remove all these things right but mm. mantis since we don't do um the sitting meditation all the time so then during daily we can just do the sampajan the mindful of our action yes um, yes or recollect the quality and of the buddha or loving at, at least if you cannot do develop something and may all beings uh you know live live in peace mm. right mm. may all beings siul satyo sopat peva live in peace mm. so, <laughs> yeah it's very very powerful it's very powerful that that time that's why that uh, so uh the way you develop mindfulness that's why we conduct four foundation of mindfulness <laughs> and if you practice buddha say buddha said and seven days if you practice uh buddha said guaranteed either you will be enlightened or anagami right multiply that at least not seven days maybe seven years right maybe not seven years that 14 years right eventually he explained right in satipatthana sutta right and not seven years six years five years four years right three four and one years and uh not 12 months 11 11 months if you can practice eventually he will come practice the seven days i will guarantee that you will be enlightened at least we we can try right when you try that uh, you know those days you know that we we want to get the a plus we try that hard right and we we do not try a, to get a plus we will get uh, you know that uh, either 30 40 or i just pass right if you try to get a plus at least you you can get either b plus right <laughs> right 